Ready. Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Monday, February the 12th, the year's 2024. Let's talk trading. Trading with Walmart Greed, Part 2. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine and differ from Walmart's. Walmart, we were talking about greed last week, and then uh, I just let everybody know. Uh, on Friday, I got a call from a friend that needed to go um, to the doctor, and their ride canceled on him. So um, I uh, helped a friend out as opposed to, uh, and I didn't get back till later. So that's what happened Friday. So, but here we are on Monday, and uh, you having fun with the uh, market today there, Walmart? <laughs> yeah. Or is the market having fun with you? <laughs> the market had some fun with me, you know. I made my core, did well with that. Uh, then what happened was that I misread the market, you know. It actually did eventually what I thought it was going to do. The problem is, you know, it's like what you say all the time. It's a I only would have waited an hour. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's one of those things where I, I got, into a, got into a trade and it went against me and, you know, and I wind up, I think I was actually in that trade uh, for like 46, 47 minutes by the time it was done. You could, you said, you've been in that trade a long time. Then, you know, I think you actually said, you've been in that trade almost an hour, and I went and checked, and at that point, I was in for 41 minutes, and then I was in for another four or five minutes after that. It just, sometimes it just happens, you know. It's like, to me, that's an eternity, but that's just, you know, the market sometimes does that to you. Could have gotten out, yeah, I could have gotten out, and I would have gotten out. You know, there was twice in there that I would have gotten out and actually a break even, maybe even like with a full pip of profit if I wanted to. But I, I decided to go and hold out. And so the question I have is, was I greed to go and hold on, even though, you know, it was, I was actually up instead of just getting out? And that, that's always a tough question, I think, to answer. Because, you know, uh, yeah, eventually I actually wind up with making some very nice bips. But, you know, I, I, I could have gotten out. And then, of course, you know, uh, my old trading buddy from the old days, God rest his soul, because he's passed away since. But, you know, he would have said, yeah, but here's the thing. You could have gotten out, would have gotten out of break even, got a break in that, and gotten out with maybe a pip or something like that. You know, and yeah, eventually you did make some nice pips, but the reality is you could have gotten out, had your cash free, and then you could have gone and made more money than you than you actually did make, because you would have had some powder to go in and actually go out there and uh, take the trade in the direction it was currently going in, make some pips there, and then when it finally reached the bottom, because I was actually wrong, when it finally reached the bottom and you got your trade again, could have gone in at that bottom and made some really nice pips. And, you know, looking back at the chart, he's absolutely right. If I would have played it that way, you know, it, it, you know, I could have made a lot more pips, but, you know, that's that's Harry Hindsight, you know, and, and all those wonderful phrases like that, but I did what I did, and I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, but why did I make a decision? Was it greed? Because I, you know, well, and I'll just say what it was. I had gotten in at uh, 2613 uh, last hour, and at the very beginning of the hour, and I thought for sure it was going to get up to 20. Never actually quite made it. made it up to about 18 or so. Um, but, you know, the reality is it just didn't do it. And I was so convinced, you know, and 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 I was in profit, could have gotten out with, like I said, a fifth or so, you know, multiple occasions. And it became, a, you know, I'm going to go and call it what it was because I think it really was great. I wanted, to, I wanted it. I wanted that twenty so bad. I could, I could taste the twenty. <laughs> but you know, that, that that's part of trading. Now the other part of trading is, uh, which we never really got to last Thursday, and or well, the other part of greed in trading is this: when the trade goes against you, okay, we never think about greed in terms of when we're underwater, you know, and. I think that there's an element of greed when you're underwater. And so hear me out, because I know it's counterintuitive, but when you're underwater and you've got opportunity to get out with a loss 
you know, a small loss, maybe even a larger loss than you can for. But you have the opportunity to get out, and you don't. And the reason why, at least for me, when I get into trouble like that, the reason I don't is I think is an element of greed. And that element of greed that's there is I can't take the loss this big. I can't afford to go and take a loss this big, you know, and that's an element of greed, I think, you know, and, and there's, there's an old expression from, from the old days, I, don't, I haven't heard people say it in years and years, but the old expression is your first loss is your best loss, and sometimes I think that that's, there's some truth to that, in the, in the idea that, okay, it's going against me, and it doesn't look, it doesn't look good, I'm going to be honest with myself in terms of what I see the market doing right now. Now, of course, it could change on a dime, but for being honest out there, looking at the charts, observing what's going on, you know what? I would never, ever get into a trade here. Why am I still in this trade? Just take the loss, you know, and, and just admit that you were wrong. And I think that, that, I think that that's a big element of greed is that sometimes we can't admit to ourselves that we were wrong and that's what forces us to go and you know or not forces us but causes us that's a better way of saying it that's what causes us to go and make bad decisions you know i don't know really is it a wrong i never like to use right wrong in trading i like to use profitable or unprofitable because um the market can break either way um it can you know break in your direction or break against you so i mean you could say oh i guessed wrong or you know but or you analyze something wrong if you miss something then you could say yeah well i missed it so i or i didn't follow my plan but as far as you know actually being right or wrong it's like nope that trade was profitable nope it wasn't <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like your thinking on that because uh, well, that's the reality. You know, we could be in, you know, a market that's moving up, and we go and jump in to go along and actually take a loss. You know, that's that's quite possible because you know the market moves sometimes in the opposite direction, it catches its breath, as I like to say. You know, some people say they go out there and they're clearing stops out. You know, there are people out there that just need to go and get some money off the table. And, you know, and it's not, you know, it's not a TRO that's going out there or me going out there trying to clear the money off the table. No, it's these guys, you know, trades out there in the millions, right? And so they can actually force that when they go and clear the tables, they may not even intentionally force the market in a particular direction. It just happens because they're taking off that much stuff off the table, you know, in one fell swoop. And then all of a sudden, what your beautiful trade gets destroyed <laughs> yeah. in seconds and you don't even see it coming, right? You know, uh, and, and, and it, that's just part of trading. And so I think you're right. It's, you know, it may not be, you know, it was, I made a decision that was right or I made a decision that was wrong. Right and wrong, I think, uh, just expanding on what you said needs to be applied to did I follow my plan or not? If I followed my plan, then I did the right thing. If I didn't follow my plan, I did the wrong thing, which gets into the old, you know, the old uh, situation of I can do the right thing and actually have a losing trade, and I can do the wrong thing and have a, a winning trade, which is. You know, that's, that's the aggravating thing about trading. That's the thing that can drive you up, you know, the, drive you up the wall, as they say, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and I, it, 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 ha and it happens to me every day, you know. I'm just going to be honest about it. I mean, there are trades where I look at the chart, and it's like I followed my plan to a T. I went and executed it perfectly. I executed it at the right time. I made sure every element was there of my trade. And the next thing you know, I'm sitting there with a, you know, with a loss, you know, I'm sitting there with a, uh, I, I can't, you know, I, I lost money on it. And it just, and you look back and say, what could I have done differently? And then you go and come to the conclusion, there's nothing I could have done differently. There's absolutely nothing I could have done differently. The reality is it just happens, you know, and yeah. it, it, it's, it, I think it's like baseball, right? 
you know, you know Hall of Famers, you have a, a 330 uh, batting average. And a lot of times you say, well, why didn't they hit the ball? You know, that means in three attempts at, at the plate, you know, they, they, uh, they only went and got on base one time. The other two times they, uh, they struck out or got it out somehow, right? Well, sometimes you can just look at those two times you got out and you say, what did you do wrong? You know, were you, you know doing a misreading the picture? Were you this? Were that? And, so, and most of the time, the real answer is, didn't do anything wrong. The reality is, it just happened because the pitcher just threw the perfect pitch. You went and did your best with it, and there was nothing you could do. Well, the market's like that, too. I can sit out here and analyze this thing to death and know that it's supposed to do this. But the reality is that, you know, we're looking at this with statistical traders, or at least we're supposed to be, right? And that means, let's say we have a method that wins 70% of the time. Pretty good. You know, that's... That, you know, Vegas would kill for those type of odds. But the reality is I can go and have a system that wins 70% of the time, while 30% of the time it loses. And the reality is that 30% of the time that it loses, that's the 30% loses on things where you absolutely still did everything right. You know, and then people, well, why? You know, how come I have a system that wins supposedly 70% of the time, but I'm only winning 52% of the time, 53% of the time. Well, that's the 20% that you can make up. That's the part where you're making mistakes. That's where your emotion gets in. That's when by executing the time of fashion, that's when you are on an internet connection that's so blazingly slow that you can't execute properly in a timely fashion. That's when, you know, you just, you know, literally have a brain fart and just screw up that's the other 20 percent. yeah you know um while you were talking i was watching something there was a flip-flop box about five candles ago and then price shot up there's in fact price there was a gap up and it, it ran up and it was good for about right. two pips and now it's coming back and what i'm what i'm looking at is this it's like if you go long and you you came off that bottom well, you're, you're coming off, you know, the re, a, uh, a uh, range there. It Like, it kind of broke out of that little range and then put in a little bit lower low, but then reversed. And then it ran back up. And so, if you got in that trade there, that's the type of trade where, you know what, you take your, your pip or two and, and be happy. Otherwise, like right now, you could be stuck in at break even or maybe or depending on your spread and commission, you might even be down a little bit. And that's the type of, that's a frustrating, you know, situation right here. But if, you know, what does the market do? It only um, trends about 30% of the time and it ranges the other 70. Well, if this were had broken out you know, near the top of the range, that's where you might go, hey, you know what, this is, the, this is the trending or the breakout. That's where you might ride it for a couple of candles. But this other one in the range, it's like, no. Especially if you look back, you can see it, had a, it was making lower highs and it was making lower lows. And you jump in long against that. It's like, yeah, like, give me my two pips and I'm out. <laughs> so it's like inside a range, you take two. If it's going outside a range, you might you might go for two or more. That's just something I just observed on that uh, on what's yeah, happening and here. You're, and you're exactly right, and I think that that's what got me into trouble too, was because what you said is true, ninety nine percent of the time. But unfortunately for me, it was breaking out of a range, um, so it made sense, and that's why I was trying to get more than that pip, yeah. more than that one pip that I was up, and just you know, it just didn't do it. And that's the that's I don't want to say it's the problem. That's the reality. That's a better word for it. That's the reality of the market. The market does things like that. Yeah. You just have to go and say that's the reality of the market. That's going to happen. And you know, and you know and, what the reality is? <laughs> the fastest okay, 15 right. minutes of trading is just about over. Okay, fellow traders, hope you had a fun and safe weekend. And uh, thanks for coming back. 
And always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the Rumpled One, over and out.